Hello, my name is David Dodick. I'm a neurologist and a professor of neurology at the Mayo Clinic in Arizona. Because of the increasing awareness and growing concern over concussion, many states, including the state of Arizona, have passed legislation that stipulates that an athlete who has been recognized as having a concussion must be removed from play and he or she can only be returned to play after being cleared by a licensed health care provider. This is based on the fact that an athlete who has had a concussive brain injury is at an increased risk of having a repeat concussive brain injury if he or she is returned to play too early, in other words, while they're still having symptoms or before their brain function has returned to normal. The risk of that, of course, is that re with repeated concussive brain injuries, the athlete may be at risk of permanent neurological damage or rarely even death because of fatal brain swelling. Because of the difficulty in making a diagnosis of concussion and the difficulty for the licensed healthcare provider in knowing when it's actually safe to return the athlete to play simply based on the symptoms that the athlete reports and the physical examination. The NCAA and many professional organizations such as Major League Baseball, the National Hockey League, the National Football League mandates that all athletes have an annual baseline concussion test. So we are very pleased through the generous support of the Mayo Clinic along with the generous support from the J. Theodore Curtis Corrales Fund to be able to provide complimentary baseline testing to every high school student athlete in the state of Arizona. A baseline concussion test is a computerized test of brain function and it's a sensitive measure of the athlete's ability to concentrate it's a sensitive measure of their attention, their memory, the speed with which they process information, and their reaction time. It can be taken on a computer anywhere where there's internet access, and it takes approximately 10 minutes to complete. So why is it important? It's important for two reasons. First of all, it provides perhaps the only objective measure of brain function for that athlete that a licensed healthcare provider or physician has at their disposal when they're seeing an athlete with concussion. Secondly, the test can be repeated after an athlete is concussed and the physician can repeat that test as often as is necessary. They can then determine by comparing it to the baseline whether and the extent to which there has been a decline in brain function and they can monitor the testing to see when the brain function has returned to normal. Therefore, with a tool like that, in addition to the physical examination and a review of the athlete's symptoms, the licensed healthcare provider or the physician can be more confident in knowing when that athlete, and knowing, importantly, when that athlete's brain function has returned to normal and they're safe to return to play. I encourage you, if you have more questions or you're interested in this complimentary baseline testing initiative, to email us or visit our website. Thank you very much.